The class I was teaching is a 500 level class on uh, war documentaries. We spent the entire semester looking at various documentary representations of various military conflicts. Um, the library space was pretty crucial in the sense that it offered not only a place to do the project, but a place to kind of figure out what the project was going to be. I want to do a collaborative multimedia project. I'm going to be like you creating the project and learning how to do it. And we are going to come up with the idea together. We are going to you know, fumble through it together. We're going to learn the technology together. We're going to shape it. And we're all going to be doing the same thing. Each of us in the class took a war in which Americans had been involved, a conflict. Um, Sometimes they were undeclared. We had to collect some DVDs, we had to get archival materials. So the way the project was structured, we had three layered tracks. We had um, image, we had sound, and then we had text. And so it was a three screen installation. Everybody working on essentially three separate films. One that shows representations of death, one that shows representations of technology, uh, and one that shows text to kind of orient the viewer putting those three separate films together to have a simultaneous experience. This project really uh, opened my eyes to all the possibilities, especially in Hunt Library, not just for research in the traditional sense, but for uh, the places that research can go in the future. It took the standard toolbox and it just kind of you know, kicked it to a whole other level. It gave me a lot of appreciation for the hands-on aspect of teaching. You begin to understand a little bit more about what goes behind the making of meaning through media. Without that group of people from all over the different parts of the university, uh, this project probably wouldn't have come together. And I think that collaboration between students and librarians and faculty will define the 21st century academic experience. People were going to see it outside of the class, that it was for more than a grade. Things that might have once been tucked away in essays and journals can now get out much more easily and become sparks for discussion. Just think about the potential for this as the kind of project that can really give meaning to a 21st century library and to a 21st century classroom. It was a nice experience, for sure.